today I wanted to do um, the look that I'm going to do for my birthday. We're going out to Nashville tomorrow, um, but I wanted to do a get ready with me for it, but I'm not going to be able to because of the time that we have to leave in the morning, and I'm not a morning person, so I don't really want to have to get up at 6 a.m. before we drive all the way to Nashville to be able to do this for you guys. Um, I have more time today, so I wanted to make sure that I really got everything in the video that I wanted to get, and it wasn't something that I was rushing through to do. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. So first off today we are going to prime our eyes and I'm going to be using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I really do like this product. I've had it for several years now. This is still the first tube that I've ever bought, but it's not because I don't use it. It's just because it doesn't need, you don't need very much to get a good um, use out of this. So it is definitely something that is worth the price just because of how long it lasts. And there, as you can see, I just applied it to my eyelids. So now we're going in with my Morphe palette. This one is the 35N, and this palette is all matte shade. So we're going to go for kind of a warm, orangey, reddish, um, like your crease and upper crease area today. And then we're gonna be going in with the Poker Face um, Loose Pigment by Makeup Geek. I just recently purchased this. I did get it on sale. Um, so if you wanted to get a better price for it, they might still have it online. I ordered it maybe a week ago. But I really do like this. I used it the other day, so this will be my second time using it. Um, it really went on easily. I just used my MAC Prep and Prime to apply it. Um, to make it stand out a little bit more and it also will help it kind of just stay in place. I didn't really notice it transferring. I didn't use anything like a glitter glue or like a glitter primer so it worked really well um, but I am going to be starting out with the Morphe palette and I'm just going in with a blending brush today. This is from Luxie and I, this is their tapered blending brush. I got this in an Ipsy bag and I really do like this brush but I'm just going to be taking this a light shade in the palette. It's the very first shade and applying that to help set my um, primer. Then next we are going in with this shade right here. So it is the second row over. And I'm just going to be applying this with a crease brush. And I'm going to be using my Royal and Lincoln brush that I got in my BoxyCharm last month. I um, This is the BX90 brush. I really do like these, all of them, all three of them I've got. I've been using them. Well, since I got the box in, but I'm just going to be applying this in my crease area. And then I'm going back in with that blending brush and just blending that all out. Then we're going to go in with another Royal and Lincoln brush. This is the BX95 brush and it is just um, like a little pencil brush but it's also I really like these brushes and how they're tapered in the end it has I don't know if you can see that there but the end goes in towards together as it ends so I really like them because they're really good for getting in that crease area and just getting a very precise line so I'm very impressed with these brushes I'm very glad that I got them in my boxy charm then the next color I'm going in with today is going to be this color right here and it is in the third line down. It's just a very warm red shade, kind of a more red than brown, but it has that little bit of an undertone to it. And then I'm just gonna be applying this one directly into my crease area. And I really like these shadows and these palettes. I've actually used this one a little bit more than the other palette that I got that was in my Christmas video, which you can also be sure and check that out. But I got two Morphe palettes for Christmas and I really thought I would use the other one more but actually I've been using this palette like every day for the past week and I think it's more just because this palette is all matte shades so you can use it for any look and the other one they have some matte shades in it as well um, which I definitely still do like it it's an amazing palette I just seem to grab this one more because it is full of matte shades and that's what I usually use for your like your crease and everything like that and then sometimes I go in with like a shimmer on the lid um, but I really have enjoyed both of these palettes 
Then I'm also going to be taking that shade after you finish with how you want it in your crease. I'm going to bring it down onto the outer edge of my eye. And I'm just going to be using the same brush. And if you get a lot of fallout, that's okay because we're going to be going in after all this and applying the face so that'll clean all of that up. And it'll also clean up this area right here if you don't get it into that V shape that you're really wanting to go for. You can kind of create that with your concealer. Then I'm also going to be taking that same shade and mixing it with the shade here that we used before. So we're going to be taking these two shades and applying that on the inner corner of the eye, just very lightly. You don't want it to be too intense just because I'm not going to be putting that glitter there. I'm going to be putting that on the middle of my lid. So I want to make sure I have some kind of shadow there as well. That way it's just not blank. Then we're going to be taking a City Color brush, and this is a CCE04 brush. It's just a lid brush. It's pretty dense. That's why I like to use it for my pigments and things like that. So I'm going to spritz it with some MAC Prep and Prime. Just a couple spritz should be good. And then we're going to go in with that pigment. Now this one is very nice. I like how it has just the little opening in the center so it doesn't become a huge mess. So we're just going to be taking it out of the lid where it's around that little bit there. And then we're just going to pat it on to the center of the lid. This is a look you could also do for Valentine's Day if you wanted, just because you are using your very warm um, kind of reddish and shadows um, and it's very glittery. So it's something I would also wear if I was going out for Valentine's Day as well. But I will be doing a look just for Valentine's. Sometime next week that video will be up. Now I'm going to go back in with that blending brush that we used before. And I'm not going to add any more product. But I just want to blend out the edges here and the center of the eye to make sure that glitter is not uh, any harsh lines between the shadow and the glitter. Then I'm also just going to spritz my face with the MAC Prep and Prime, making sure that it sets the glitter on the eyes, and I'm also going to use it for the rest of my face before I apply my face makeup. Hey guys, so now that my face is done, what did I do here? I am going to finish up the eyes. So I just added um, some foundation, a little bit of bronzer, I didn't really contour today, and a little bit of blush. I just wanted to kind of keep the face more natural um but i'm going in with another royal and lincoln brush the same one as before that i used for um the outer corners and inner corners of my eye if i can get the palette back open so i'm going to be going in again with this color here and a little bit of that shade there so this shade and this one here to finish out the under part of my eyes Then for my lashes today, I'm going in with the Lily Lashes once again. I really have enjoyed these, um, but I'm going in with their Paris Lashes. So I'm going to be trimming these up and then just applying them to my la lash line at the top. And I'm going to be going in, I'm not doing a wing or anything today. I'm going to be going in with some black eyeshadow just to cover up the band. Hey guys, so I have applied my lashes. I did go in with my Smashbox Full, full Exposure Mascara before and after. I just added a little bit after to help blend those lashes in with the false ones. So with the Makeup Geek eyeshadow that I'm using today, there's also a link with that down below. I'm affiliated with that as well, but I really do like it, Makeup Geek. I just purchased two of their foiled shadows, their loose pigment, and a blush, which I purchased all on my own. But if you like Makeup Geek and would like to help out, there's that link down below, or you can just go to their website by yourself. Either way, it's fine. But I wanted to let you guys know about both of those links. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really did enjoy the way that this turned out. I really like this look with a little bit of pop of um, shadow on your lid. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. For any other ones, please be sure to check out all my other ones if you like this one as well as check back every Tuesday and Thursday when I have a new video up. And also please subscribe and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. I will see you next time.